Salutations. Welcome to today's Practical Planning Tip by Park Bridge Wealth Management. My name is Jonathan Shankman, and I'm the President and Chief Investment Officer of the firm. We're going to continue the series of videos for folks approaching retirement on important items to have on your aging checklist. Today, we're going to discuss business and personal items to include on this checklist. And here are some thoughts to consider. If you own a business, is there a well-defined succession plan? And keep in mind that it's best to start the succession planning process early by grooming a successor, getting the appropriate legal documents and insurance in place, and setting expectation for all those who are involved in the business. On the personal financial side, list all relevant information that may be needed for a loved one who needs to act on your behalf. This includes date of birth, social security number, mo mother's maiden name, login credentials, etc. And you should note that this simple advice will save hours of time and loss of headaches in the future. Personal memorabilia. Where are they located and who gets that? When to stop driving. List specific criteria in writing that result in giving up your license. Regularly, like an example, maybe regularly forgetting to put on your turning signal, eyesight getting worse, frequent fender betters, etc. For many people, this is a big step in giving up one's independence. Deciding years ahead of time on terms for when it makes sense for you to stop driving will make the transition a bit more manageable. Which family member or close friend will be in charge of handling various tasks, specifically in writing, so there is no confusion on everyone's role when the time comes to step in? For example, who handles financial, legal, insurance, or personal tasks? Burial and funeral information. Be specific in how you want this handled and how it will be paid for. Does religion impact any of the aforementioned planning? If so, how should it be handled as well? Also, are there any personal requests? And here's a planning tip to consider. Dispose of personal knickknacks by throwing them out or gifting them to friends or family through the course of your early retirement. Remember, it's your stuff and you should deal with it. There's no need to burden your family with cleaning up your things once you pass away. And finally, to sum up this series on having an aging checklist, it's important to note that all items I mentioned in these videos are just samples of some issues that may, many retirees face. Not every issue that I mention is applicable to every individual. And conversely, there are always unique issues facing each family. The key is to work through a checklist so all your respective financial advisors and legal advisors and family members having a conversation about it and put it into a, put it in a written plan in place. At the end of the day, when a loved one prepares their wishes well before they become physically or mentally impaired, it makes aging a much more manageable experience for everyone involved. And with that, I hope you found this practical planning tip helpful. Until next time, stay prudent and practical and don't forget to plan ahead.